Who came up with a machine like that? The Chinese government has pulled out all the stops in making their modern Silk Road a reality. In the process, the Xi Jinping-led government has left no stones unturned in developing state-of-the-art technologies and machines that will not only speed up construction, but ensure that these newly constructed labyrinth networks of railways and roads last a lifetime. One of these custom-made bespoke technologies is the SLJ-932, a gigantic segmental bridge launching machine that has left the world speechless. But what is it about this iron monster that has fascinated watchers around the world? Did you know that every year for the past 10 years, China has set a world record when it comes to bridge construction? In the top 10 list of the highest bridges in the world, China alone accounts for eight of them. It has definitely become a big bridge country and is definitely a front runner as far as bridge construction is concerned. One thing that has made it possible to complete the most difficult and record-setting bridges in China is the SLJ 932, finally called the Iron Monster, because that is exactly what it is. Picture a 91 meter long, 580 ton machine that looks more like a futuristic train than anything else, rolling along and dropping massive bridge segments into place. It is used to build high-speed railway tracks in areas where large sections of the route need to be built over valleys and canyons to avoid bends. Manufacturing the SLJ 932 was a team effort. It was designed by the Shijiazh Wang Railway Design Institute in China, a group known for tackling big infrastructure challenges. And the Iron Monster was brought to life by the Beijing Wow Joint Machinery Company, a heavy equipment manufacturer that's all about pushing construction tech forward. What they developed isn't just big, but smart and built specifically to simplify high stakes bridge projects due to its multiple moving parts. Now let's get into the specifics. It is 91.8 meters long, 7.4 meters wide, and 9 meters tall, weighing in at 580 tons. It has 64 giant wheels split into four sections of 16, each able to rotate 90 degrees, so it can move sideways to grab beams with ease. The Iron Monster can lift up to 900 tons, handling girder sections that are 32 meters long and weigh between 800 and 950 tons. That's like lifting a small building. It cruises at 8 kilometers per hour when empty and 5 kilometers when loaded, which is pretty nimble for something this huge. But the weight of the Iron Monster does have an unexpected benefit. The bridges it builds have to be large and sturdy to manage its weight as the Iron Monster moves to place more bridge girders. Since it weighs more than any of the trains that are going to be placed on the tracks, the machine adds an extra layer of protection by ensuring that the bridges connecting China to the rest of the world can carry heavy weight loads without collapsing. Whether it is building large suspension cable bridges, arch bridges, or cable stayed bridges, the SLJ 932 can do it all, and the way it constructs bridges is as simple as it gets. It works by picking up pre-cast concrete girders from the casting yard and drives to the bridge site where the pillars are already standing. Then it lowers two support structures to stabilize the machine as it extends out to the first pillar. With the support structure in place, the machine slowly drives forward with the pre-cast concrete and lowers it into place between the starting point and the first column. When it is secured, the Iron Monster moves back to its starting point, taking the support structures with it. After it picks another girder, it drives across the first installed segment and repeats the process all over again. Throughout its lifespan, the machine can handle up to 730 bridge spans, sometimes even pushing to 1,000, which roughly translates to about four years of use before it is retired. But here's where it gets interesting. China has successfully been able to engineer more than one of this machine, and it is now quite common to see the Iron Monster in different cities across the country. At first, each one had to be specially designed for a specific project, and once the project is done, the machine is pushed to the side. But with constant tweaks and improvements, engineers have found ways to make the machine more reusable. Its current design allows the Iron Monster to be disassembled almost as quickly as it was put together, 
and then recustomized for a different project, which extends its lifespan and use. There is hardly any other construction equipment that is as innovative as this. So even though critics have been against China's Belt and Road project, it is undeniable that the SLJ-932, which was developed as a result of the initiative, is already an important machine in construction engineering that could replace the crane-centric method of construction. The traditional method of building with cranes makes it impossible to use full-size pillars or beams because they are heavy and difficult to lift and transport, so these beams and pillars have to be broken down in sections that are no more than a few meters long in order to be transported. Then these beams are fixed together during the method of construction, and all these extra steps end up being very time-consuming, not to mention expensive. Also, cranes need a lot of space to operate, and on top of that, they're limited by how high they can reach and how much they can lift in one go. If you're building a bridge over a river or in a dense forest, good luck getting a crane in there without clearing a ton of land. But the Iron Monster offers a completely new way of building large bridges. It's an all-in-one launching gantry that moves with the bridge, making it ideal for tricky spots where cranes just can't cut it. There's no need for massive scaffolding or clearing huge areas for crane bases. Since it moves along the bridge, it's not phased by obstacles like trees, rocks, or water below, which cranes struggle with. This, in turn, helps to preserve existing natural landscapes as they continue to grow without too much interruption. Plus, it's safer since it reduces the need for workers to be dangling from heights or managing complex crane operations. The SLJ-932 also cuts down construction time, which in turn reduces operation and setup costs. Although it requires much less human resources compared to cranes, the Iron Monster still needs a team to operate and maintain it. The operator's job begins as the machine sets the first segment in place and continues until the project is completed. The crew are taught how to navigate the machine's wheel system, control its speed, and monitor its systems to avoid mishaps. Safety training is huge since workers are often high up on bridges with no room for error. They're taught to use harnesses and follow strict protocols because there's still an element of danger when using the machine. Maintenance crews are just as critical, handling regular checks, cleaning, and repairs to keep the machine's wheels and hydraulics. It's a team effort to keep the machine on track and always ready to go. The presence of the SLJ-932 is the perfect example of how the right technology and machine can transform an economy and connect people together. For example, before the Yibin Jinsha River Railway Bridge was built, it took 12 hours to travel between Sichuan and Guizhou provinces in China, but now it has dropped from 12 to a whopping 3 hours. That's a big difference, and its work has really only just begun. China is proving to be the heir to the Silk Road established by the Han Dynasty more than 2,000 years ago, and this new project aims to connect China with 70 countries across Asia, Africa, and Europe through land and sea routes. As the need for more routes increase, the SLJ-932 will continuously be improved to be much smarter and faster making it the ultimate solution to advance large-scale construction projects anywhere in the world. How soon do you think other countries would adopt the Iron Monster for construction projects? What's the most impressive construction machine you've seen? Share your thoughts in the comments section below and make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more updates.